deal with the uh, exemptions, which sometimes create a bit of confusion, it is only an employer that can apply for exemption from the pension fund. Employees cannot apply in their individual uh, capacity. Why that is the case is when the employer applies for uh, an exemption, he or she applies and has to show that they have an alternative pension fund of which the benefits are similar or better than the national fund. This then gets uh, sent to the uh, exemption committees who hears these matters. The exemption committee sits every 30 days for the whole period of the year. So you are ensured that when you apply that within that month, your application will be heard and the outcome will be given to you within 14 days. What is important is that with pension fund, the maximum period that it, such an exemption will be granted is one year. That one year always runs from calendar month January to December, meaning if you apply in July, you will only grant it the exemption up until December, and therefore everybody with exemption from pension fund must reapply around November for the following year. I'm asked quite often as to why do I have to apply again. The reason is that we as industry need to then have a look to see whether the employee's pension fund is actually still in place, it's kept up to date, that payments have been made and that they are still on the same benefit. It is a protection to ensure uh, the continuous pension fund, whether it is the national pension fund of the industry or then the alternative pension fund. So we would like to implore everybody that has exemption to please contact us and submit your forms by no later than around November. We are also open to come and assist through the agents of completing those forms and really assisting you to get this done. On a lighter note, I want to thank the industry, especially in the Eastern Cape with the participation in our current project, the water project. We have received a lot of feedback, um, quite surprisingly so, in the Eastern Cape it seems that at this point in time the effects or negative effects on businesses seems to be minimal. Uh, I will be in the next edition uh, talk to you a little bit more, I want to allow a little bit of time uh, for the industry in the Western Cape where we seem to be hardest hit by the water crisis uh, and will share by means of a, a, another video or in the Council Chronicle, the monthly newsletter, some results of what has happened, plus also some further tips. Thank you very much.